How's it going, sir? Not good. How are you? Not good. Is this your guys not good? Yeah. You got a plumbing issue? Yep. What happened? Uh, it's got a somewhere. This is your house though? Yep. So you're a handy guy. Do you do, you do this for, for work too or you just work? No? I gotcha. A reason we're stopping by, I'll make this super quick. I don't want to waste any of your time. My name is Will. We're with a company called Lumio. Mm -hmm. uh, reason we're stopping by is because we're working with a few of the neighbors on the new net metering program. Just curious if anybody from our company has come by to follow up with you guys about that new uh, notice that the utility company sent in the mail um, about net metering. No? So I'll hand you that. What's going on is a lot of... Um, a lot of the smart neighbors are making the switch over to solar to get rid of the distribution charges and delivery fees. Have you guys looked into that or not yet? Yeah, I looked into it. I had a guy come by and uh, gave me some information on it. I don't even know what company it was. Okay. Did, yeah. did, it make, did it make sense for you guys? It did and it didn't. Yeah, I hear you. What, what did and what didn't? Well, the part that didn't was that I'm still charged. I still have a charge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that part don't make sense. I'm with you. Well, I'll just show you this. This is what we were uh, helping Miss Jackie out with this morning. So similar roof to yours. I mean, I do think that you get the most sun probably on these two sides, right? That side. So she had 17 panels. We got her bill from 148 to $108 a month. And so, yeah, you're still paying, but it's a lot less. And instead of putting that money into the utility company's pocket, you put that money into your pocket, right? So how it works essentially is over the course of the next 20 years, her house goes up in value by $20,000. Yours would be different depending on how much energy has used. Um, and basically the system only costs her $20,000, right? Compared to paying like $65,000 for electricity so it's a wash the reason why everybody's going solar is because literally a third of what you're paying for electricity and that raised the value of the house because the next homeowner doesn't have to pay three four hundred bucks a month ten years from now um, so we pay for the first year of solar there's the tax credit that the state of Texas has allocated like four hundred billion dollars to help homeowners go solar um, and so you either take the twenty thousand dollars and put that into your house or you pay the twenty thousand dollars from them taxing coal oil and fossil fuels so they've made it make sense logically in every single way. Our job is just to sit down with you guys, show you the info. Again, our company's called Lumio. We're a home improvement company, so we do more than solar. We do home improvement, uh, everything except for that. <laughs> no, but windows, air conditioning, insulation, roofs. Our whole goal is to elevate the home experience, create the smartest, energy efficient home possible. Okay, but and, uh, so one yeah. question I got. Yeah. Nobody is, everybody's pushing solar, but nobody's pushing this one thing. Nobody's saying, hey, like you said, I put them up here, for the next 20 years, it's gonna save me money. Okay, but each roof is only like a 10 or 15 year roof. Yep. So nobody's suggesting, hey, replace your roof, yep. then put solar panels up there. Yep. Because if I put solar panels up here today, right. and my roof need replaced the next week, next year, right. yep. I just shot myself in the foot. Yes, you did. Yep. You know what I'm saying? See, nobody's, yeah. like I said, it's a lot of little so, things that nobody's really saying. Nobody's so the, all the information. Before we put the panels on the roof, what was your name to you, man? No. Doug? No. Doug, nice to meet you, Doug. Will, before we put panels on the roof, we gotta make sure that the roof's got integrity and that it's structurally sound. Because if the roof's junk, not saying that your roof is junk, but if the roof is junk, we're not gonna put panels on it. So that's where we do a site survey to make sure that the electric box up to date, main panel unit, MPU, and then the roof's good and then you just get enough sun. If all of those things check our boxes, then we would submit that uh, that uh, application to the utility company. They would approve it and then we'll see in the designs. So we also can redo the roof as well. I do about 30 projects a month and usually like three or four or five are, are new roofs. And the cool thing about the program, I don't know if you knew this, Doug, there's actually a loophole in the solar program where they can add the roof into the system and then they'll pay the tax credit on top of that roof. So how it works with that is you essentially get the roof for free because with the 26 or 30% now, they just extended the tax credit to 30%. 30% yeah. of the solar, 30% of the roof, you basically get a free roof and it's still less than what you're paying for electricity. Are you guys looking at getting a new roof soon or just maybe uh, 10 years from now? No, like I said, I mean, we bought this house two, two years ago. Nice. It's a great neighborhood. And I want to say the service, uh, when we did the home inspect, all that stuff, that roof was redone. Shit, I don't have to look at the paperwork. <sighs> Who do you guys use for energy? Stream? No. TXU? Direct energy? No. Constellation? No. Four change? Nah, what's the one? Uh, not, not reliant, but the. Um Direct energy. Ambit. 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 Okay, cool. I got Ambit as well. Yeah. So if you have. Not on the contract with them, but that's. Yep. That's still. So all, all we would do, 
is we would just plug in the exact consumption for every single month. And then the goal would be to make it so you guys are covered over 100%. And then we just show you the, the system, show you the numbers, and then we would just take a few pictures of the house, the main panel unit, the breaker box, and then submit that to the utility company and get you guys approved. If it makes sense, um, there's a few other things we gotta go through, but- How come your house is way because, lower because we're in Because we're in-house, we're local, and we're going public as a company. Other people, that would be like double. And so that's the benefit of going uh, solar with them, yeah. Because the other guy, his cost, the total cost, like that's the one thing I kept asking. He, uh -huh. he didn't show me that till an hour of talking. Yeah. I want to say it was right at the two, because I was going, I wanted the batteries. Yeah. Backup batteries. Yep, yep, yep. The cool. battery system and everything was like 80, 80 something. 80 something Jeez. Like yeah. And I mean, that's still going to break even, but my whole thing is like, we want to make you so that you can save money each month. And then of course, as the rates are going up, you're locked in, then there's an end date, and then you're getting free part of the home. And that's the goal. You wanna own your vehicle, right? That's truck. You wanna own your house, you wanna own your land, your guns, and you wanna own your electricity, right? So it's one less bill that you gotta pay for when you guys do sell the home. But all solar is is home improvement. It's the only home improvement that costs nothing out of pocket. Because if you were to get the roof done or anything like this, right, you gotta pay all this money out of pocket. Whereas with solar, um, because of the winter storm a couple years ago, they're trying to get one third of homeowners to get off the grid and so every single time a homeowner gets off the grid they're taking stress off the grid so that the winter storm doesn't happen again where they lose a bunch of power and people literally die right but you know your house is perfect for solar yeah like i said dude yeah uh, dude said we was just he looked at it and everything I'm like could we uh back there in the, in, in the back so the whole back of the house is can we, can we take a look at that that uh, that electric usage and then plug that in and leave it with you later? We could have a solar specialist come by. Um, I could show you real quick too, whatever works best for you guys. We, we do have a lot of appointments today, um, but if you're able to get in, all we would do is just plug in your kilowatt usage into Texas Smart Meter to show you exactly what your kilowatt usage is. Plug that in and then just leave the information with you guys. Sure. Cool. Uh, do you mind grabbing the utility bill real quick so I can plug that in? Um, um. Would you guys want to have a stop by in two hours to show us to you? It takes 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, swing by by about two. Yeah, cool. Three o'clock or two thirty? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Cool. All right, let me just uh, shoot you a text. So you got my number, and then we will be back here at three o'clock. What's your number, Doug? All right, I'm gonna text you here, Doug. This is Will Lumio Solar, and then. Uh, they will, again, just kind of walk you guys just through your numbers, answer any questions that you do have. And I, I totally geek out on it. It's really cool just to see how we're offsetting the power. And then they'll show you like the apps we have where you can track your usage. Um, they'll show you the tax credit, the buyback program, total cost, total savings. Okay. Cool. Nice to meet you. All right, so the biggest thing, guys, is just explaining the program clearly to the homeowners. You know, a lot of the times we say it, and it's true, when people are outside doing yard work, they're totally open to looking at what you've got because they want to get away. Like, that guy was just working on plumbing, so he was super open to looking at it. He said his biggest thing was uh, the other people weren't able to explain how the roof works, if they need a new roof, and so we were able to squash that question effectively. And so the biggest thing, guys, is just know your stuff, know exactly what the pain points of the homeowner are, you know, set the sticky appointment, let them know how legit you are. And if you're legit and you know your stuff, if you're a pro, if you're an expert in your field and if you're enthusiastic it's going to work every single time and then you just got to get yourself into as many conversations as possible so we just went two for two and we're about to go three for three so let's get one more guys like and subscribe we'll see you in the next video